So this here we have Tar Baby. As she sits here, she's become so powerful to me. And yet she has this child, she has no arms, and she still manages to somehow possess um, a, a strong power. And for that reason, we call her Tar Baby. <laughs> she's, she's begun the show. And uh, from here, we go to this painting uh, of kind of Napoleon chick teaching whatever it is he has in his head to her. This is what it is for me. But of course, it's the eye of the beholder. And I leave it to your eye. All right, these two pieces have been sold. They're going to New York. For me, this is somewhat tribal. And for there, we have a little Goya spilling backwards. They're gonna be stretched like skins on the wall. Okay, this is a quick painting that belongs to Calypso, of Calypso with Ulysses, which kind of somewhat was her, is her father, Charles, with her grandmother's legs. At any rate, and a bit of Sicily with the Italian horses from St. Mark's Place. And of course, we can't leave out the Greek flag. She's Greek and Italian, Sicilian. And here we have the pieces, the triptych I did on the juvenile justice system. We had 219 juveniles on death row. 22 were actually executed. We did it in the 90s when a young boy could go on trial as an adult, having been maybe in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's a scary time for mothers with sons. Thank God the Supreme Court finally decided that it was cruel and unjust in 05. All right, so now we have more of the tar paintings. I think there are six or seven, maybe eight, altogether for this show. This uh, here is, to me, some heavy intellectual political characters that maybe found themselves in trouble. This, she seems to be rushing off somewhere. What inspired me was she was on the floor. A friend of mine, Don Shear, did the lines and then walked away for a few months. So I splashed some paint on it and there she is. I went to the Academy of Fine Arts in Philadelphia and this is uh, also tar that's been resin. She's taking one last breath, I believe, before she becomes something else. Okay, now we're kind of in the depths of the studio. As you can see, here's my trusty can of tar. These paintings are being worked on. This uh, had a kind of got caught up in Wall Street. I thought it was kind of Occupy Wall Street. <laughs> and here, this is uh, a subject on the Chinese uh, broken branches, which is the, the amount of um, young boys in China due to the um, policy of one child. Most everyone wanted a boy. And consequently, very often, they, they literally threw the baby girls in the street. And so now what they have is certainly a surplus of male children, uh, male adults. And so this sort of is the beginning of that painting with the skulls of the baby girls, uh, sort of as a symbol. This started as kind of what, this is kind of a child thinking, what are we going to see, you know? And so he picks up the skull from the grave and looks at it and says, can you tell me what the future holds? Mm -hmm. 